Coming to you live from Round Rock, Texas, here at Dell. I'm here with uh, Ben Galoob, CEO of Dot Cloud, the company behind Docker. Ben, how are you doing? Doing great. So, can you just tell us, for those folks who are not familiar with Docker, what is Docker? Uh, well, Docker is an open source project that's designed to basically make it very easy for people to take any application and its dependencies and package it up in a lightweight container that'll run anywhere. Um, so you can sort of think of it as uh, analogous to a shipping container. You know, you, if you are the person who's writing code, you put it in the container, you seal it, and it's done. And if you're the person who's running servers, you worry about running containers and you don't worry about uh, what the applications are trying to do. Well, and how did this come about? As, uh, yeah. as I, obviously with your introduction, you're, you guys are dot .cloud and you start off, I think, as a PaaS. Right. How did you get to, to Docker? Yeah, um, so we started out about two years ago as one of the first multi-language passes. And of course, if your platform is a service, your whole goal in life is to make it easier for developers to uh, get stuff written and get it into production. Um, uh, and so normally the way you do that is you choose some limited set of languages and you say, we're going to make it easy for you to build on top of that stack and deploy on our infrastructure. But what we inevitably hear from developers is they want more and more languages because there's so many great languages and frameworks out there and they don't want to just deploy it on our infrastructure. They want to deploy it on their infrastructure, on a different cloud, at their customers, etc. And so you sort of get this sort of expanding matrix from hell in terms of the number of things that uh, you need to make work well. And it's really hard for any one organization to do that. But um, by taking some of the technology that we were using at DocCloud and making it open source, we can enable an ecosystem to essentially service that matrix. Um, and we've just seen explosive growth since we started. Well, and, and speaking of the growth, they obviously then, seeing this growth brought you in. Yeah. Obviously, this isn't your first rodeo as CEO. No. <laughs> uh, can you tell us just quickly your background and then uh, how long you've been here and, and what your goals are now um, as, as a new CEO? Sure. Uh, so uh, I came on board in April. Prior to that, I was uh, CEO of Gluster, which was uh, open source storage, uh, now part of Red Hat. Uh, prior to that, CEO of Plaxo, uh, which is now part of Comcast. And you know, prior to that, working at VeriSign for eight years, uh, cutting apricots, doing demographic work in Kenya, and trying to start a business school in Uzbekistan. So a bunch of different things. But just what everyone does, right? Just what yeah, everyone right. does. Yeah, well, you have to have a few failed startups before you find the right thing. But this is, this is ex extremely exciting. And uh, you know, I've never seen a project get so quickly embraced by the community as Docker. And so what are some of your, your plans going forward? And what are, the, what are your plans that you know about? And what are the things you're looking to solve for or trying to figure out as we go forward? Yeah. Well, I mean, our, you know, job number one right now is to make uh, our product, which is currently version 0.6, uh, stable, really rock solid, production ready, and get it to 1.0, um, and to just keep spurring the, the usage of Docker. And um, you know, that's not only the number of people who are using it, but also the extent to which we are integrated with all the other amazing products that are happening sort of around the, around the space. So uh, we're very excited that things like Chef and Puppet and Travis and Jenkins and GitHub and all the other tools that are out there are now um, very quickly getting integrated with Docker. Um, OpenStack as well. And in fact, just this morning, I saw an article about, I don't know how you pronounce it, Doku or something? Heroku is starting, Doku is starting to use it? Uh, yeah, well, no, it's, it's interesting. You know, since we launched, um, there have been three different, uh, I think at least three different open source passes that have been built on top of uh, Docker. So there's uh, Doku, which is sort of like a mini Heroku, uh, Deus, Flynn, um, Yoho, Ovojos in, the, in, uh, in Russia, a um, bunch of really cool things, and, and it makes sense. Um, I don't think there's any one-size-fits-all pass, but if you can make it really easy for people to design a great, uh, a great pass um, and have the output of that be something that's really portable, that can grow as the user grows, it's a, it's a fantastic uh, answer. Awesome. Well, Ben Gluck, thank you so much. Look forward to seeing how Docker evolves as we go forward. Great. Thank you.